What's up guys, Anthony Nettie here. We are in week four, transition week at Body. What that means to us is that it's a little less volume, it's a little less intense than the rest of the weeks of the month. And we also bring in new skills or we progress exercises and we work on you know, leveling up, so to speak, or advancing our, our training. At the same time, it's giving us a chance to kind of not feel so rushed and you know, kind of chill out, deload, right? So it's a, it's a good transition week into power week, right? So it's a good separator from the, the most intense week that we have as far as cardio goes, so it's uh, aerobic conditioning, and then transition week, and then brings us right back into power week. Those of you guys, those of you, those of you, those of you who come to body know the deal with our, with our four phase training system, but transition week, let's get to it. Mobility, Dynamic warm up with a static stretch hold. Warm up, three sets, two exercises, easy breezy. Work period, here's how it's going down. We have one exercise that's gonna be a skill progression. We have one exercise that's going to be an opposing joint function and muscle group. And then we have a mobility exercise or mobility drill that we're factoring in. Of course, that makes sense for the exercises that we're working on. Today, for instance, is Romanian deadlift. So here's how it's going down. Set number one is going to be exercise A, which is unilateral. All week long, we're doing one side at a time. So we're splitting our body up and working on balance, stability, and coordination. So for instance, A1, A2 will be considered A, right? So set one is A plus B. Once you get your rest, whoa, hey now, 30 to 45 seconds, depending on how much time you need, you're gonna head back into set number two, which is going to be A plus C as a superset. You're gonna be doing those back and forth. Once you're done with that, 15 seconds, or sorry, 40 to 45 seconds, 30, 30 to 45 seconds, take as long as you need. It's a deload week, but get at least 30 to 45 seconds in. These exercises aren't intense, so you may not need that much that much rest than you would um, conditioning week or other weeks. However, take your time, get through it. The whole week is designated to less and chill. But does that make sense? Set one, A plus B. Set two, A plus C. You guys can't answer me, so I hope it makes sense. If not, send me an email and I'll get back to you. Here you go. So set one, A plus B. Set two, A plus C. We're gonna do that two times. That's your work period each week, each day this week. There's that concept um, with obviously different exercises every day. Your finisher, it's gonna be six minutes, as many rounds as possible, three exercises. After that six minutes, you're gonna rest 45 seconds, a minute, a minute and a half, whatever you need. Then we're gonna go into a Tabata with one of these three exercises, your choice. We're giving you some freedom, feel free. To choose one of these exercises and do a Tabata. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, times eight. Do that eight times and that's gonna be your finisher. Believe in yourself, trust the process, practice patience.